Ram, 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 Sri Ram, J Ram, J J Ram. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to uh, play a very eccentric tune that I composed quite a number of years back. I think this tune uh, uh, there's my landlord Jack McGee out there. Old Jack McGee, I think he's about 78. He could kick my ass with his hands tied. Um, he's uh, He does uh, uh, construction work and um, handyman kind of work. He's always on the move. Built like a string bean. Kind of the way I used to be built back about... <laughs> 40 years ago. <laughs> I think a lot of us guys who uh, are starting to uh, look at the, the age of 70 uh, can appreciate that statement. In fact, just, just about, not every, everybody, but just about everybody I know uh, who... I've known for a long time. Well, we were all about half of our present weight <laughs> back about 30 or 40 years ago. Now, that's not true in every single case, but the majority for sure. I guess it's just an old guy thing. But uh, that's uh, besides the point one might argue, as it relates to this video. <laughs> um, as I was saying before, I'm going to attempt a very eccentric tune. You know this word? Eccentric? It's a very uh, crooked tune. I've never recorded it. I hope I can get through it. Uh, but I like to call it Saw Palmetto, which of course is a uh, a plant. I don't know what class of, uh, what uh, horticultural class it falls into, but it's kind of like um, uh, um, kind of like that with long spiny skinny leaves that uh, grow out of a central point and the spiny leaves are just exactly that they're very spiny and jagged and have little barbs all along the edges of the leaves saw palmetto and apparently uh, the saw palmetto plant has m medicinal uh, value in fact I think if you like walk into a Walgreens or a <laughs> A store like that, you might even be able to find yourself a bottle of pills that says Saw Palmetto. Um, don't hold me to this, but I think, if I remember right, I think that Saw Palmetto uh, supplements are good for um, urinary problems. <laughs> Fortunately, I do not suffer from uh, such problems. But that's not why I named this tune uh, Saw Palmetto. <laughs> the, uh, basically, uh, the uh, concept of sawing on a fiddle is sort of what, uh, what carried over to uh, this tune. And... Um, as in sawing palmetto or whatever you get the point uh i've got the old french jerome thibaville la may violin circa 1880 to 1890 
it has a paper label that says Mansui. It was just one of their many models uh, where they would either use or they would borrow the name of an actual maker, violin maker, or they would just make up a fictitious name and put a paper label inside the violin. I've done a lot of work to this violin. Quite a lot of work after I acquired it from some feller down in Kentucky. I fancy the violin was probably uh, floating around somewhere down in Kentucky. My fantasy uh, consists of imagining that this very violin was being used to play Kentucky style fiddle tunes on. Uh, a style of fiddling of which I am very, very fond. Saw Palmetto. Key of G. Let me see if I can get through it. It's a pretty weird tune.
What's the matter there, lad? You got something to say? You got something to say? Yeah, well, you're just going to have to wait, whatever it is. <laughs> Saw Palmetto, folks. Thanks for listening.